The passage I want to read today is not the lectionary passage. Um, it's just a really a story, a random story of uh, Jesus out of the Gospel of Mark. And if you'll allow me, I just I want to talk about it because it has been in my mind for quite some time. And I just can't shake it. So on some level, I'm going to talk about it. Uh, and I, I talked about it before on a Facebook Live. I just want to talk about it because um, I just can't shake it. And <laughs> maybe I'm secretly or uh, subconsciously thinking if I talk about it here, I'll be able to uh, shake it. But it's just a fascinating, fascinating scripture that I just can't get out of my mind. It's from Mark um, chapter 10. It's the very end of chapter 10, and we get this story. They came to Jericho. As he and his disciples and a large crowd were leaving Jericho, Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the roadside. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout out and say, Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. Many sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he cried out even more loudly. Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and said, Call him here. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he is calling you. So throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. And Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, My teacher, let me see again. Jesus said to him, Go, your faith has made you well. Immediately he regained his sight and followed him on the way. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Uh, when I usually look at this passage, and usually I've preached this passage several, several times, um, I usually pair this passage with the passage before it, which is it's a fascinating way because in the passage before it, it's that, it's that moment where the disciples ask when Jesus, uh, they come up to Jesus and, they, and he says the same thing he says to Bartimaeus, he said, what do you want me to do for you? And in the passage before this one, the disciples want power. They want to sit at his right and his left, you know, when he comes into his kingdom. And, and this one, uh, when Jesus asks blind Bartimaeus, what do, what do you want me to do for you? He says, I just want to see. And usually that's the way I parallel this passage. But there's this phrase in here that I just, I can't seem to get out of my mind. And I'm seeing this passage a little differently First of all, they, they're at Jericho, and, and then they're, they're there for some time, and then they begin to leave Jericho, and as they're leaving, uh, Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, uh, comes to, uh, or yells, and, and is yelling loudly because he hears that it's Jesus. And the disciples kind of hush him, and, and it says that there's this large crowd with them. So there's quite a bit of hustle and bustle, and so this blind... This blind man, um, this blind beggar, is screaming out to try to get Jesus to pay attention to him. And not once, but after they tell him to be quiet, he does it even more loudly, it says. And then there's this one phrase that I've never noticed before, and I would say probably a couple months ago I noticed, and it's just really, I just can't shake it. After he cries out for the second time, the writer of this gospel says, Jesus stood still. I find that a fascinating little phrase in the midst of a large crowd on a journey. People are yelling. People are sternly ordering other people. And there's all this hustle and bustle. And Jesus, in the midst of that, stands still. And he just says, bring him here. What do you want me to do for you? I just want to see. 
I find it interesting that the disciples didn't see that he just wanted to see. The large crowd didn't. They're on a journey. And yet Jesus stands still. And in standing still, sets himself up to heal this man. And I guess for me, I've been wondering, what are things in our lives that can only be healed by Christ by standing still, by being still. There are not many times when we are still, maybe when we sleep. <laughs> and what's so interesting about sleep is that when we are sick, when we are hurting, most of the time, some, some of the time, one of the best remedies is to rest. Stay still. Sleep. And I wonder for our souls and our hearts, or maybe even for our blindness, when we are blind to someone else, we are blind to the suffering of the world or the divisions that so divide us. And maybe in this passage, in some weird way, Jesus may be calling us to be still. And in resting in God's stillness is where we truly begin to see. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.